Hello. Awkward. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome. Sorry. Welcome back to um, episode number four from my video podcast called The Arc. Today I have uh, the same as always a bunch of special guests. By the way, um, first of all, we have um, Wilkie, Lino, the two guys that you already know and love from their Twitch and their YouTube channel, which, by the way, is linked in the description below. Um, and then we also have our lovely community manager, Rox. Um, she's Hello. also here with us. Uh, to, I, I just want to say something from the get-go, guys, that... Um, um, what do I want to say from the get-go? Ah, that if, if, if Rox doesn't answer any specific question, it's because of me, because I called her on too short notice. So she <laughs> maybe didn't have the time to, to, you know, to get all the answers that I'm looking for, or maybe that you in the chat is looking for. Um, but welcome everyone and really nice to see those of you who, who have joined us also for this live podcast. Um, very happy to have you guys here watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I also, uh, I, also, I also wanted to go a little bit through the topics that we're going to discuss today just for you guys to have a little bit of an idea. Uh, please tell us things in the comments like for example, where's my, where's my this, this I, I like this comment so I'm going to show it. See, this is a comment I like. Um, so tell me more of this, by the way. Um, <laughs> uh, look, Rox also got a question. We're, we're already a question for Rox. Where's your cat? She's like right here. I'm sure she'll walk over later. There I also really like the one that was like, everyone still thinks I'm a guy. I find that so funny. Like, yeah. especially really early on. <laughs> Surprise, I am not a man. <laughs> so Rox is not a man, confirmed. This is, this is, uh, this is like... Uh, See a, a comment from one of my biggest fans. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? I wonder. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Who is that? Anyway, so the, the 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 list of topics for today, uh, guys, that that uh, we we wanted to discuss. So generally, it's going to be a feedback from the closed beta. We're going to talk about stuff that many people have said about the closed beta. Uh, stuff that went that went well. Stuff that didn't really go so well. In general, we want to get an overview of what people think about Lost Ark now, the new people, the old people that have been playing it. So in terms of topics, we, we, we're we going to take a look at the um, item level progression. Who's typing this so vigorously? Who's typing? Wasn't, who's ty was, wasn't me. <laughs> what, what? So the item level, uh, the item level progression, uh, many people, including myself, feel that it's way too fast. And obviously, I know, I know everything about, you know, the islands, the beta, the events, the maris, the we're going to get into that is just a topic, one of the many for today. Um, I also want to get into, um, in, in, into the, the PVP that had some issues and then was fixed right away. That's another topic. Uh, definitely, we're going to be discussing the booba. Yeah. Very many of you, um, you want to talk about, you know, uh, not enough booba on your characters. Me, I'm personally absolutely new. I didn't even know what booba meant up until last <laughs> week when everyone was asking me, uh, where's the booba and stuff. I was like, I was Googling booba uh, and then my wife saw it. Imagine what happened after. Um, hmm. Marty's, Marty's secret shop is another topic that many of you that maybe are new are, are concerned about, worried about translation. Uh, I have a I have a secret question for Rox later on. It's going to be pretty interesting uh, <laughs> to see what she. Okay. <laughs> <to see us. laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> okay, and uh, finally, maybe some uh, some of the technical issues that that occurred. Maybe the the CPU usage, the overload on the PCs. Maybe we can have um, some feedback on that uh, on that as well. Now, having that said, having that said, uh, <laughs> not Buba, maybe Babo. Welcome to the Ark. Okay. First thing I want to discuss. First thing I want to discuss. Um, first thing I actually want to show you is something that I found on Discord, which is super super nice for those of you who are watching. For those of you who are uh, who are new, I found this on the on the community Discord. By the way, so many so many nice um, so many new videos. I will share my screen with you right now, so we can actually um, take a little bit of a look at this thing. So many. So many nice videos, by the way, from um, from content creators, from new content creators. Mm. 
th this for me was super cool to see during the closed beta, by the way. Uh, we, we have people who are making Lumerus guides, right? That's so cute. We have uh, people who are enjoying the level 25 campaign, people who uh, picked up a bard and they want to be the best. Th th there's so much new content, by the way. Um, about Lost Ark, posted online, so many new content creators that, that came over to, to, to sample the game or to, you know, maybe to even commit to it. Very, very nice. And I wanted to encourage you guys that are watching to take a look at this, uh, at, at, at this room. I'm going to have this Discord linked in the description below. Uh, join Amazon's official Discord also, by the way. Uh, a place where you can chat with other Lost Ark fans there. This one, the community Discord is the same, a place you, you can chat with other people. So many nice videos, by the way. So, so many cool stuff. Everyone's, you know, everyone wants to say something about Lost Ark and how to play and what to do and amazing. Lovely, lovely. So this is what I wanted to praise these guys, these other content creators for um, um, just for, for trying out the game and liking it and creating content for it. Really, really nice. Now, let, let me just um, minimize myself here. There's no need. Uh, cool. Where's my chat? Here you are, my boys. Sorcerers confirmed. Of course, this is this is a this is a topic that we already discussed yesterday on my YouTube channel. So there's no need to ask for confirmation here. Nobody can give you a confirmation. Wilkie, is sorcerer confirmed? Wizard is confirmed. Wizard is confirmed from Wilkie. If you missed last episode, uh, what about what do you think, Lino? Sorcerers confirmed. Well, I'm going to have you know that one percent of hope, but currently. I will. Uh, I'll stick to my limb fighter journeys in the Russian server for the moment until I get something more concrete. <laughs> so, <laughs> perfect. So, the first topic of the day regarding the beta feedback is um, something that, to me personally, is quite important, um, <clears throat> and, and it's the progression speed. So, during d during the closed beta, we had we had people reaching the maximum that this particular patch offers in just two days, or maybe three it was. Regardless, this is obviously too much. And for those of you who are concerned about this, the, 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 the client version that we have, and maybe, maybe Rox can confirm or not, the, client, the version of the client that we had for the closed beta was the one that Korea currently has. Korea being at a much higher item level than, than we are. Korea having a completely different end game than we have with this tier one. And there were a lot of stuff from Korea brought over, such as catch-up mechanics, because in Korea, they don't want you sitting in tier one or at item level 600 for more than two days. They want you to get where everyone else is so you can have people to play with, do content, etc. Now, there were many islands also that, that were part and are currently part of uh, catch-up mechanics in Korea that were just brought over as they are with a lot of rewards for you to uh, boost up your character. That was one of the biggest reasons why people even reached 580 item level or 600 during this closed beta. Another reason were, was that um, Mari's, actually maybe Rox, do you, can you confirm that these islands were indeed unintended or just brought over from the client or? So yeah, it, we did have a lot of like newer type features like that, um, for sure. Like you are 100% right on it being really easy to kind of get to end game. Um, and that was like one of our huge points of feedback from our beta. Um, and what I can like say is we're definitely aware and we're gonna be taking another balance pass at that. Um, so it's something that we, <laughs> I was like, oh, I turned, maybe I am a man. Um, <laughs> sorry. It's, it's, yeah, it's definitely something we got a lot of feedback on. Um, one of the things that was really helpful in beta was, you know, you have a lot of new players in that haven't kind of experienced that or aren't familiar with progression and how it normally feels on, I say normally, but feels on other servers. Um, and a lot of folks who have played before were like, whoa, you know, um, so it's, that was definitely a major point that we talked about. There were a lot of newer features in there and we're going to readdress how we kind of want those to feel, um, mm -hmm. hopefully for launch. So yeah, it's definitely, definitely a good call out. Okay. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out that people are uh, are worried about is the Mari's secret shop from within the game. This was another place from which people had like seven, eight pages to go backwards and um, and uh, buy these materials. People were saying that the Mari's secret shop was also intended to be like this just for the beta. Um, 
which I believe it's true because a couple of days before the beta, um, you guys announced that the, some changes to the secret to the uh, cash shop, also changes to the the pets and the premium membership. That the thing from the convenience part of the pets will be in the premium membership, but then in this beta client, it wasn't yet ready. Um, is, is that true or the money? Yeah, that's true. Um, I cannot. I can't speak to like exact items. I think that's something that's still being worked in or looked into as well. Um, I don't work as directly on that side. Uh, one of the things that for sure was bugged with the shop was everything refreshing, like to purchase again every six hours. Um, like normally we're going to keep that 72 hour period for things to be up, but like you shouldn't be able to repurchase the same thing you already did after every mm -hmm. six hour iteration. Um, so that is something we're going to solve. And I think that is Obviously, the items are part of it. People want to make sure, you know, you can't, like, progress super hard with items too fast, and that'll be looked into. So I'm not 100% sure, like, what the outcome of that will be as we kind of go through that feedback. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, definitely being able to buy those. I think it was every six hours during a 72-hour period, so, like, 12 times. Yeah, that was not intentional. Mm -hmm. um, so there were, yeah, there were still a few bugs and tweaks in the shop for sure we needed. Um, that was the first time it's been the shop has been like scaled that hard in a build like i i played the beta for a little bit and somebody in like had to remind me like hey you can go buy a pet because i've literally never used the shop prior to beta um so it's mm -hmm. still definitely something that we're we're tweaking and working on okay um uh, i i wanted to ask uh, i wanted to ask wilkie also um what did you think because what did you think about the progression speed Let's say, let, let's say, obviously, we minus the islands and we, we minus the Mari secret shop. Um, let's just assume that there's a, this progression speed that is obviously a little bit sped up. Do you think, uh, which side are you on with this? Because there's, there's fans who say that this is good, right? Because um, maybe this will eliminate any doubts that a guy who deposits in the cash shop will be able to get so far ahead of you that's a free-to-play player. But here, kind of everyone was sort of a free-to-play player and we have a lot of opportunities to get there towards the end. Um, some people also say that this is pretty bad because getting past this tier one content, which for us is the end game, it should last us at least a month or two months, um, it, it's not that nice. You can literally just, you know, maybe maybe just spend time in front of the in front of the chaos dungeons and eventually get to skip three raid bosses, right? Just get to that kind of an item level. So, which side are you on? Do, do you think that a faster progression um, with its pluses and minuses is good, or do you think that a slower progression that would let's say take us or a free to play player, uh, it would take us a month or maybe more, is that good? Mm, also, so I wanna, I wanna like kind of set the pre, pre preface here. I think what they try to do is speed up the progression because we definitely have to catch up to any existing server faster than any of the other servers had to, unless we always want to be like one or two years behind the Korean like mother flagship server, which I think there definitely should be some form of I wouldn't even call it catch up mechanics, but some kind of compression for the content to be a little little bit accelerated. I think a lot of people, not everybody, but I think a lot of people who are saying that the progress was too fast, we got to always keep the average. And when I say casual, I don't mean like the you casual bro kind of players, but the people who spend like one hour, two hours maybe every day in the game. For those people, it still needs to be somewhat realistic to reach that end game before we get flooded with new content. Because... Tier 1, content-wise, if we're just talking Chaos Dungeons, Guardian Raids, and stuff like that, that obviously isn't as crazy. But you have literally zero collectibles. Every affinity needs to be done. All collectibles, field bosses, world bosses, zero islands. There's a crap ton of content to be played on. And most of those new players don't even know that that content exists. So they think, oh, I just need to hit item level 600 in this case, and I'm done with the game. And then they maybe level an alt or do PvP, but then they realize, hmm, there's actually more to the game, but I kind of wasted my last four weeks just grinding out or I needed to progress something. So I think it's actually good 
that it's faster than it used to be, especially in the hindsight that not everybody has played on Russia, Korea, or Japan. And even if people who did play, for example, um, I'd like to bring up Nico, who's also in chat. He's, I think, 95% he's a PvP player. He has done very little PvE, so for him, it's still going to be a very fresh experience if he does that. And for him, he's basically on Twitch and YouTube, so he's probably going to get the information from other people as well to know, like, people will tell him, do this, do that, prioritize this, prioritize that. But I think it's good that it's faster. And I think if the, I wouldn't even call it issue, but if the islands are being looked into it and if it's going to be toned down just a little bit, plus uh, the Marie's shop is obviously nothing that everybody will be spamming at launch. Not everybody will have those 40,000 crystals, much less even. Even if you have a founder's pack, you're going to have 7,000 crystals. And uh, let that be a warning, guys. Don't don't burn all of your 7,000 crystals you get from the Big Founders Pack instantly in Marie's shop. You will need those later on, trust me. Don't don't burn all of that as soon as you get into the game. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, I also wanted to mention that there are advantages to having a faster pace of progression because at the moment we, we all need to keep in mind that we don't know um, how fast Amazon Games is going to deliver us patches. Maybe it's going to be a, some new patch every month. We don't know that. Of course, that's a, a stupid assumption. Um, but maybe it's going to be two months. And then if it's too fast, then obviously most of the people who maybe, I don't know, I, I guess just many of the people who want to take it, let's say, more on the spreadsheet and are maybe more hardcore towards gearing up are going to feel that okay i just i just zoomed through these eight uh, guardian raids these two abyssal dungeons um and you know now i'm max item level in two weeks and, and you know what what's afterwards because you know let's face it the abyssal dungeons are item level 340 the first year of uh, guardian raids are item level i don't know 300 plus uh, up until 400 but if you are at 600 someone in the chat was also saying that you know all of much of the content becomes quite trivial um we don't have this equalization yet um, um also the Chaos Dungeons, again, same thing. So I believe it's a fine line and I believe everyone is right here. People who ask it to be a little bit slower and people who ask it to be a little bit faster than it used to be, I don't know, back in the days, right? Or not as fast as now. I, I am of the opinion, of the strong opinion, that this was incredibly fast, way too fast. If a hardcore player that plays one or two characters can get to that item level in literally two days, um, or even if he can get to the max item level in two weeks after a fresh MMORPG started, uh, that's really bad. Um, this is it's just, uh, it's just my opinion. So I would tone it down by quite some... Um, because if you if you do tone it down by quite some, I believe that you also make other content a little bit more interesting, more 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 incentivized to be done than I don't know than just do this then quit. Um, cool, uh, Lino, do you want to add some? I didn't ask you. I, I apologize because I know you're a PvP player. You and item level, uh, you don't need to. That's right. The only item level I care about is so then I get to level twenty six. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, praying here that on the release we get the. I'm not even sure if this is fixed in Korea or not, mind you, but the fact that if you're playing Shadow Hunter or Artillerist, you have to get to 40 instead of 26 because some of the skills are locked out. So to me, I'm thinking like, hey, faster pace of progression to get to PvP would be great. Let me level to 26 instead of 40. Other than that, there's not much that I can comment when it comes to the PvE side because I didn't actually push a high item level myself. Uh, so there is much that I can say. I do think that there's, there is, uh, you know, a benefit in having people being able to kind of get to endgame early, but that's just going to depend on what Amazon's update schedule is going to be and how fast we're going to be getting the new updates from Korea, how long it's going to take for us to get to tier 3, really. Uh, mm -hmm. but that remains to be seen. There's not much that I can comment when it comes to the, the PvE stuff here, Seth. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're definitely well. going to fine-tune that balance. I think it's something we're still trying to determine with Smilegate as well. Um, but I I feel good. Yeah, we we definitely are kind of the opinion that we, we want to tweak something there um, to hopefully slow it down a little bit, but we, we got to find that sweet spot. So. Mm. All right. What about the translations? Some some people, myself included, um, obviously translations are uh, uh, not yet finished. So I'm happy that the game is not coming out like uh, let's say next month. Um, you guys are aware of that? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I think we even called it out in one of our beta, like pre-beta articles. Like localization is not in a place we want it to be. Um, 
and that's very forward. It's just for a variety of reasons, um, just taking time, wanting to add in and change new content for beta, um, doing those things. God, Lost Ark is so big. Anytime you add in anything new, any new system, it's four different languages, a ton of text. Um, I think we had someone looked it up. It's like, we're like at like a couple million words. I can't remember how many copies of like the whole series of Game of Thrones it was. It's insane. Um, but it's definitely, it's like the whole Game of Thrones series, like mm -hmm. four or five times. Um, but uh, yeah, we definitely are going to continue to polish and clean up. Um, there have been some changes. There's cases as well with not just the translation where like voice lines don't exactly match subtitles. Um, so sometimes the answer is fixing a subtitle. Sometimes the answer is we're having voice actors come back in to re-record those lines, um, which is quite the process. But we're we're definitely working on it. Um, it's not in a place we want it to be, but we also do not want to delay. <laughs> we don't plan on delaying the game again just for localization and fix. Um, so we're polishing as much as we can in the meantime and even after launch potentially, mm -hmm. you know, forever for the life cycle of the game, we're just going to keep working on that. But we don't want to like, be like, Oh, it's not in a place we want, like, let's hold the game. Like we want you guys to be able to play it. We want it out there. Um, so it's, it's all, it's all a work in progress and something definitely like, we're not super happy with the level of polish right now, but it's, it's happening. It's getting there. And I think the mm -hmm. most important thing is, like I said, having everyone able to play the game when we when we want them to when it's ready to launch because right and, and play it like with you excellent. know good, good good translations nice w will there be more more voiceovers by the way um i'm not sure outside of like if, if you're referring to like the first line of like the overworld stuff i don't know that all of that will be but i mean there were obviously cases where cutscene voiceover was missing certain voiceover was missing um that will all be fixed i know there were some thugged bug files happening um, but I'm not sure if we will be voicing over like every single NPC line. Um, for example, when you're, I think I said this, but when you're doing the like overworld quest and just talk to mm -hmm. someone, um, we m might be sticking with the first line. Um, but that's some feedback that I was able to pass on to that team as well, which I mean, I'll take it as a good thing if people, you know, <laughs> want to hear more lines voiced over. Like, yeah, Spe speaking about lines voiced <laughs> over and stuff, some people actually didn't like the the, the 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 beginning, the beginning stuff when when you were let's say boosted to level ten. Especially some people from some magazines, right, like PC Gamer or whoever. Everyone was talking about the prologue. Like, you know, for me, obviously, as a player who has played this, for me, it's the button on the top left, skip prologue. However, very many people treat it as a brand new MMORPG. Um, so, so I would like to hear your thoughts. Um, uh, for example, you can start with Wilkie. I think Lino also. Uh, I think he skipped the prologue as well. Uh, but um, but um, just to hear your thoughts uh, about this prologue. Should it, should it be different? Is this one confusing? People were asking, why am I pushed to level 10? Um, you know, give me the old one back. I mean, like, just a general question to everyone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I did. I did find the the original class prologues were, were quite interesting. They had a little bit of charm because you have, you know, uh, this. It, it gives you a bit more of a unique feel to each specific class. I can see what they were trying to do with normalized things. I'm not sure I agree with the, you know, making a class background just become a cutscene. But that's a decision that really comes from from Smilegate. Um, and I do think that the the prologues needed to be a little bit streamlined. Doing the fighter prologue versus the mage prologue was a massive difference in time. The mage prologue felt two to three times longer. So I feel that they could probably have put a little bit more work into normalizing all the four prologues to be a little bit more well paced. But um, that's it's just really a smart gate decision, and we'll see what it is that they do with the, the prologue. Maybe feedback gets them to change it, but I'm not sure at this point. Well, uh, any any new any rumor in Amazon games that the uh, the prologue might. Uh might be looked into um i'm really not sure because like uh was just said it's kind of a smile gate thing they've obviously removing them in other regions um it's it's inter it did raise an interesting point though um in those other regions where the game has already been out the new pro uh, prologues are performing like very well people really love them um so you know the, the knee-jerk thought is like oh these are way better 
Um, but yeah, it was very apparent that like people wanted it. And I'm the same. I actually person like completely personally, I really liked the old prologues like a lot, like the, uh, the assassin one. Oh my God, that one was my favorite, but uh, I liked those a lot as well, but it kind of became apparent during beta, like people wanted a little more, whether it was learning a little more information about their class background, like they felt like they were kind of just being dropped in. Um, and I hadn't thought of either when I played through the new one, it was like, oh, this is kind of cool. You know, you can see uh, Carmine, Carmine at the end. And I was like, that's cool. But had I never played before, I'd be like, who's this guy? Okay. Um, so yeah. I definitely, I definitely get it. Uh, it's definitely been heard and it was a, another big point of feedback, but you know, at this point in time, I'm not sure what kind of the next steps might be. Right. Um, and yeah, I know, I, I feel like just, I'm going to be saying that a lot today is like, we did just come off a of beta. We gathered so much feedback, which is super valuable, but a lot of these decisions just haven't been made yet because mm -hmm. beta ended on Thursday. We had Friday. Um, we've talked yeah. about some with Smilegate already. Uh, like I was talking about the, uh, progression earlier but a lot of them it's just you know we got to figure out what the next steps are and that takes a little bit of time so i promise i'm not just trying to be like oh yeah i got your feedback but yeah you know, no, we are I, entering I, those next steps yeah yeah absolutely i and i and and again for those of you who have just joined us recently very nice of you to come over to to watch us really appreciate it um and and i invited the rocks to the podcast on a short notice beta just ended obviously we there's no not all the answers available in Amazon games. Uh, Wilkie, what about this question? Uh, and also maybe later on to, to, to rocks as well. Um, will dungeon materials, abyss dungeons in this case, be recyclable in launch? Well, that's a good question. I think that's definitely more about how Smilegate wants... That's again, kind of ties into the progression route because this is yeah. not directly something linked to item level, but definitely a way of progressing or making your character stronger. So if they want that to be in the game, I think that's just a means to get the people through the content faster. I don't really think it's such a huge deal, to, especially early in the game, because the content is balanced around not being supercharged, not having four engravings, not being like completely loaded. I think it's more just, you know, getting those people faster through the content while giving them something to do. And then the more challenging content, if you will, is going to come sooner than most people will expect. And then they're probably in for Awakening, which may or may not be as good because people will probably get very comfortable with, okay, I need to kill this Guardian two times, takes me five minutes, and all of a sudden my daily tasks are like 10 minutes or 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can this be, for example, a piece of feedback? Um, for Smilegate, for Amazon games, this um, uh, recyclable gear, Yeah, I think like say. you said, it's it's kind of tied into all the new kind of catch up and everything and, you know, balancing those things. It's like you got to look into yeah. everything. So it's definitely part of it. Yeah, I, I, me personally, I just want people to have an end game here in Lost Ark and I don't want that end game to be forced into gathering Mokoko seeds because I'm now <laughs> item level 680 or 620, whatever. Like gathering Mokoko seeds is something that you do before, way before you reach the max item level. At least this is how I'm used to things. But doing it the other way around or it's also good because you can have various characters ready for tier 2. We don't know when tier 2. So it's a little bit of speculation, a little bit of this and that. I really hope they have, they have a good plan and good thought through it we in the west don't want everything easy and just giant hearts to for me to log in every day to stream lost ark and do giant hearts because i cannot do 90 percent of the content as it's not my item level anymore um so uh, yeah or be forced into pvping so i can meet lin meet lino in pvp so he can destroy me and i would rage and stuff uh, so uh, that, that's my thing by the way lino maybe you can restart your cam uh, it's like uh, really laggy um, let, let's get into uh, into something that um, that um, w was also. Don't worry, guys. I see I see you in the chat. There's there's really many of you that want to talk about the censorship, the booba. We're gonna get to the booba in a second. Um, uh, the PVP bugs. If maybe Lino can uh, tell us a little bit of what exactly was wrong. Ah uh, yes, the PVP bugs. Hopefully the camera isn't scuffed anymore. Uh, it is. But it is. Oh dear God. <laughs> Yeah. Well, um, when it comes to the PvP bug, so a bug that we... Oh. Oh? Yeah, Hello. it's me. I tried. <laughs> Didn't work. Sorry. Well, I'll try I'll try and reset that uh, as we go. But one of the PvP bugs that we had is... So PvP is accessible at level 26, right? And, mm. uh, and that was something that was fine. Everybody could access it. But the stats weren't scaling how they usually would. 
So everybody's damage, if you are level 26, you did about as much damage as if you were a level 26. You hit for very, very low damage. You'd be doing about 20% of the damage you would actually be doing at, uh, at level 50. And the other thing that was really strange was your stats, your substats. So the way that Lost Ark works is you have, you know, your main stats, your attack, your defense, etc. And you have your substats, your swiftness, your domination, your endurance. And those are also scaling as if you're a level 26. So if you're a lower level, if you have a hundred swiftness, that's a lot. If you're level 50 and have a hundred swiftness, that's that's nothing. So the way that stats scale is they end up stat scaling like twice as hard. So you could have a bar at level 26 use 1000 uh, specialty and that would give them a healing increase of like 80 percent on all their skills so uh, classes would do absolutely no damage if they were low level and they would scale massively with their substats while they were low level as well but surprisingly and i guess one of the best feedbacks that i can give about the beta is that got fixed really quickly we yeah. actually had the tournament that was going to be happening on sunday and that was you know, a big cause of concern Everybody now had to be level 50, otherwise you'd have a game-breaking interactions between the substats and the, the different stats of people. And uh, and the first message that we got was, it can't be done, it's not going to be on the beta. Uh, but then, just a few hours later, it was a snap of the thing. I was like, never mind, we, we can actually do this. And... Very nice of Amazon <laughs> Games and Smilegate, very yeah. nice. So... So community, yeah. community response engagement. I can definitely, I can definitely give props. Tell to us, that. We, tell us hey, what thanks. happens behind the <laughs> scenes there, uh, rocks. Yeah, I worked till 1:30 a.m. and most of the team worked until five that night. Um, <laughs> which, yeah, we were definitely not sure that that was going to happen. Which was why the original response was because initially it was like, "This is a really big change. Let's see uh, what this hotfix could break." Um, very clearly it did break some things as we saw shortly after some data sets were bugged some dungeons broke um but you know smilegate is really awesome we work obvious obviously very directly with them because how could we not um so it was raised and they were like we can get a hot fix for this for you guys and our team could pull it off um so we were able to do that we also did i mean it was a closed beta um for a lot of us so i wasn't around during the technical alpha uh, the team has grown quite a bit and we did we were like let's practice doing a hot fix uh this is not something we've done on a live environment uh which you know that's what a, that's what a beta is for um so that was a good learning as well um and then the maintenance that followed after to <laughs> do because you know when you fix things things go wrong data sets bugged um, but yeah, smilegate and the team i think did a really good job working quickly to address that like i was i was very happy as, as someone who's been in games for a while and seen many things go wrong i like as even as a third party i'd say like it was it's pretty awesome they were able to kind of fix that that fast and they're like i said there are a lot of learnings we got from that too um just in terms of okay what what broke what happened figure that out really fast that was um, awesome so it was good that was awesome yeah sometimes really you gotta nice break work. things to figure out how to fix them like, yeah and, exactly and that's what beta is for <laughs> <laughs> and, and you managed to, to do it over the weekend, which was super cool, before the PvP tournament, which was something that, at least for me personally, was important. People are asking, um, people are asking how often are we going to get um, new content? Obviously, uh, nobody knows that. Um, and uh, some other questions about, um, um, about performance. We're going to get to performance also in a moment. And some some questions about when could we expect the announcement <laughs> of the release date, which I believe is also a question. That, that, if I uh, announce an announcement, that's just an announcement. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So an annu announcing an announcement. Um, uh, Wilkie, let's let let's get into let's get into like um, you know the serious stuff. Tell me about the booba. I am a person, I am a person, I am a person who, for some reason, and I do apologize to those of you who are into, um, like, you know, looking at your character and, like, zooming in uh, occasionally and wanting to see a little bit more skin, so I completely get it, you know, it's fine. Um, but I myself have never, ever, ever zoomed into my character so I can see if, if she, she has a little bit more, you know, booba showing or something like that so I, I i would like wilkie to explain to me what's the deal with booba and why so many people are um concerned about the characters being censored for us in the west more clothing on 
Um, do you know? Uh, I, I don't think I know, but I think there there's two sides to this. First of all, going back, uh, I was younger at some point. Uh, imagine that, just like everybody else. And I think getting older in the gaming scene and MMORPGs, there was always this, uh, I would say, like almost baseline. Whenever you made a female character in an MMORPG, you were trying to make the booba as big as you could, even if it would look ridiculous. And a lot of old MMORPGs actually had sliders just for that to make them look really, well, let's say, um, unnatural, even even weird at some points. I think why people are so upset isn't, in fact, that they might not see the booba or there might be clothing over it, but I think it's more about the actual act that Amazon or Smilegate, and in, in I don't really know where it exactly comes from. I think that it's more about the actual act of the censoring that people are annoyed about or... I think sad, angry, whatever about like this is I think where the emotions are coming from, not actually from the fact that they don't get to see their skin on their characters. Mm-hmm. So can I just I promise they're there. Like I think the main thing, I don't know why <laughs> we've said this before, like the uh the starting outfits that oh hi cat that you will get like on your character are different, but and a little bit more covered up just because sometimes I don't know, I'm a girl, when you're front and center, it's like, bam, you know, right away. Uh, But they're there as white drops, I promise. Like, they have not been removed from the game. I think people just saw how close some of the starting outfits were to, or I guess the new starting outfits were to the old starting outfits and thought it was, like, change the old ones. Um, Those are just new. They have been added in, and you can find the old ones, the original starting outfits, as white drops starting pretty early on. So I, I promise the booba is still there. <laughs> there you go. There you go. The booba is still there, uh, uh, guys. So uh, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, Lino, do you have any any take on booba? Do you, do you zoom into your character? Do you create her like your PvP character with like, you know, big boobas and stuff? Well, you can't change the bodies, but, you know, I'm a, a firm believer of if you aren't winning in style, you're not winning at all, right? The end game, yeah. people are talking about raids, item level, like school, all that, like, your character has to look good. If your character's looking good, you're winning. No, it doesn't okay. matter what you do. PvE, PvP. So I love so, looking good with my characters. And the new costumes that they added, I'm actually really happy because from my understanding, what you know Amazon and Smile are giving us is they're giving us more costumes. They're giving us more variety to our characters. And as cool as the skimpy outfits, I don't know. I do like my characters to look a little bit more like, you know, they're using an armor of 80 defense and not like minus five. So, and especially like the mages, the mages, like their starting outfit looks amazing. I, I look at that and I'm thinking, wait, is this, is this like a legendary or something? What the hell is this outfit? And it looked really, really good. So if anything, I'm really happy that not only are they kind of revamping a lot of the very old and somewhat dated starting outfits that we have for the classes, but they're also just giving us more customization opportunities. And as somebody who is definitely going to wear real hard for all the costumes in the cash shop. I am very happy that I don't even have to wear when it comes to making my character look good now. Because uh, so it's co- all a confirmed, game. confirmed that you win uh, more PvP matches uh, from a grandmaster Lino if you have a booba. It's, it's all about it's all about how you look, man. If you, if if, okay. if you look good, your enemies are intimidated. You win at the loading screen. That's just how it works, man. <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually right because you can get like you know the 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 highlight there, and if they see you know your character like. Uh, very sexy looking then yeah uh, okay so uh, uh, what else can we say about the booba I really do not want to start getting on this podcast into why are some MP- NPCs um, um, a black like you guys are saying in the chat I mean I don't understand why some NPCs wouldn't be uh, black me this is me personally now I just don't want to get into this, uh, like the, the 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 race and why uh, Smilegate has changed the color of the skin or of some NPCs to make them, you know, represent more of the what's going on here in the West, where uh, you, you know we're all one people, all inclusive. I personally, um, um, I personally don't even see the NPCs. I mean, I'm sorry. I guess I'm not the best person to talk about this because I just press G as fast as possible. Uh, so I can level up several characters. So I apologize, uh, but but at least we got something from 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 Rocks about the uh, uh, the costumes. So the booba is still there. It's just a little bit hidden until later. Um, now, um, okay. So I can remove I can remove this topic also from my uh, from my thing. 
Mari's Secret Shop, this uh, we uh, briefly touched upon. So I believe that for the release, this um, this is going to be uh, to be different. I do. I I did wanna. I I did wanna ask um, Rox a question, which <laughs> which I think um, this is this is something um, pretty interesting. Let me just uh, quickly get this uh, this picture. I will save it on the desktop. So um, the question that the question that I have, I'm, um, I apologize. I just want to sh uh, show my screen here. The question that one or another content creator actually raised with me um, via Discord is this thing right here. So I will try to make my screen large. Yeah. Um, so there is there is a song, um, a song to mark the beginning of the holy festival, right? And it, it's of course, it's obviously in Korea as well. It has a reindeer and some snow on it. So the other person who raised this was saying that this is an indication that if we have it in the beta, Lost Ark is going to be released um, before Christmas. <laughs> and I just I just I like want I just I just. I just want I I just want rocks to to <laughs> maybe blink twice if this is true. Uh, it's early twenty twenty two. Oh, did I blink? I think I blinked you, once. You, you blink twice. We all saw it. Okay, early twenty twenty two, but that would be wild. <laughs> right. Okay, I would like so... to enjoy my Christmas. Sorry, I have delayed the game. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna get clipped. And... Oh God. Early, okay. Early twenty twenty two. I promise it's not that far. Early twenty twenty two. We need some okay, of that perfect. time. <laughs> um okay cpu usage another question highly asked in the chat um and also in the comments of of my videos i saw people talking about this is there anything from amazon games that w w would help us understand why this particular version of lost ark is heavy uh, uh on the cpu one of the things i i don't know everything that went into it uh Probably I'm not the most techie person ever, and that's probably why I'm in community. One of the things that did go in it um, was <laughs> was sort of addressed with the well. We made a first pass at it in the hot fix on so that Saturday night. Um, so one of the things we actually found that was interesting and why it was okay or why it was working that when people would turn off area chat, sometimes that was kind of improving stutters and CPU usage for people was. Some of our accessibility things, such as text to speech, were actually causing some of those issues. Um, so we did kind of a, a grooming pass at that um, with that first hotfix, and it improved it a little bit. Clearly, there's a little bit more to be desired there. Um, so it was like if someone in your area was using text to speech, whether or not you were, like the way it loaded in, I think um, something, something, not a tech person, um, mm -hmm. but that was causing more of that usage, some of the stuttering that people saw, all that. Um, mm -hmm. that was the most prominent thing that I know we were able to kind of address and take it past that right away, which again, had some improvements some, for some people, some people saw issues as well. Um, I know there's more things that are being looked into, but I don't have like a, a list in my brain. So de mm -hmm. definitely something that we noticed though, and we're, we're looking into even during, during the beta while it was going on. All right. Someone also said optimization with newer video cards, for example, might also be an issue, but I guess this optimization topic in general is um, is actually being uh, being looked into. Um, Wilkie, Lino, did you did you also have these optimization problems, high CPU usage, or? Uh, for me, the game ran okay. I didn't actually have the the chat stutter that a lot of people were having, but a lot of my friends did also have that chat. I think it felt like a little bit of a mixed bag. Some people was saying that, you know, oh, the client is fine. Other people are saying that, you know, compared to Russia and Korea, the client is just very strangely optimized. Um, for me, it was okay, but I do recognize that there, there have been a lot of people that were having some kind of performance issues uh, with the game. Um, so there's there's not really much for me to comment because at the very least, my experience used to be relatively fine, actually. Mm -hmm. Wilkie, all good on your side? Mm, for the most part, it ran actually pretty good. I had a weird, I wouldn't even call it issue, but it definitely had a much longer loading time, especially when launching the game. It took probably like twice as long as the Russian client does for me. And yes, I obviously have the client also on my SSD, just like I have the Russian version. I do have the feeling it's probably something to do with the with the easy, uh, easy anti-cheat that's firing up or something. Outside of that, for me, performance was incredibly well but that also it also felt like the servers by themselves were 
I don't know if more stable. It felt like they had a higher tick rate. For those of you who are playing FPS games, you probably know what tick rate is. I don't want to start a tech discussion. But it felt like the servers had a higher tick slash refresh rate than what we have on Russia, at least. So for me, it ran incredibly good. I do have friends, though, who had the chat stutter. So I definitely think it's not just a, a myth or people making it up. So there were some issues. But for me personally, at least, I think it uh, ran pretty well. Speaking about servers, um, uh, people were asking if if they're going to get at least for release um, CEA servers. Not not CEA. I believe they're referring <laughs> to. I believe they're referring to Australia and New Zealand. Will they have their own server? Because Australians were complaining that they are playing to North America with like two hundred ping. Yeah, definitely. I think our most recent update was that there will not be those servers at launch. Um, for the time being, that has not changed. But I, I definitely spent time collecting feedback uh, on that topic as well. I know some people said PvP was pretty much unplayable, high tick rate, or high ping, sorry, all that stuff. So we definitely collected feedback. But right now, um, there isn't any like update on that. Mm -hmm. um, someone was asking if... Um if this uh, um, Viking themed avatar that we're getting, um, will we have, let's say, more uh, pictures about it so we can get a glimpse on how this Northern lawmaker would fit on a soul fist or on a gunner? I believe so. Um, that's kind of on the marketing side, so I'm not 100% sure where that stands, but I believe it's being talked about and we want to get those out. It's yeah, been in been in development for a long time. I actually haven't checked on <laughs> the state it's in yet, but I, I think that's something we would like to do for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, another popular question, which I actually lost right now. My bad. Um, there you go. So someone is, is in Australia. They're, they're just grateful to play. Another another leak, Winter Viking. Well, come on. It's the, uh, Northern <laughs> are we gonna get? Are we? <laughs> are we gonna get the sixteenth class? Um, well, guys, there are things that we wish wish that shall not be spoken um, on this podcast. We'll get a sixteenth uh, class at some point. Sixteenth class at there some will. point. There will. I mean, we won't. <laughs> there'll, there'll be more classes in the future. We've always said that. So. <laughs> <laughs> how was the um how was the um I, I by the way just in completely different topic than the uh, beta feedback um i heard there's going to be some uh, uh, pvp league lino organized by the same guys at the archives that's right yeah so this isn't something that uh ags is doing i mean who knows it may be something that might be happening but uh, oh, this is a, a little, fantastic question. This is a okay. community, but okay. yeah, hopefully, yeah, this is something that we, I, I, I want to ask. That's something I want to know is uh, how how is the competitive PvP community going to be handled by by Amazon Games, right? Uh, but yeah, there's uh, there's been there's been word in the woods that uh, that will be a bit of a PvP league that's going to be happening with the same guys, the, the Sage guys that hosted the Archives Arena tournament, which is that uh, beta tournament that I was talking about earlier. So it is something that's uh, hopefully going to be happening. Uh, was as we as we get release and and here so you hear but... so you hear that guys playing pvp in lost ark fantastic idea not only you might have something um we might have something from amazon games some form of esports maybe LAN party after we get a vaccine for covid um but also a pvp league with real money prizes organized by the same people who organized the lovely tournament during the closed beta by the way uh, the question that i lost and i remember now is um any discussion with Smilegate about uh, the class names, or are these, uh, let's say, uh, set in stone? Scrapper came up. <laughs> Sorry, I was like reading chat. Um, yeah. Yeah, I. this is something we passed on a lot of feedback back. I just have not, they have not been changed at this time, and I don't have any mm -hmm. word that they will be. Um, but yeah, that's definitely been a strong feedback point the whole time I've been here. I, I actually don't 100% know, obviously, like what the reason for every single class name change was. Obviously, some I have to laugh because like Hawkeye is legally trademarked in <laughs> by a company with a very large mouse. So like there are some we cannot change back for a variety of reasons. Like I just there can't do it. Um I, I don't know all of them one-to-one. -one, like, I don't have a reason for everything. But, uh, 
yeah, that's been a longstanding piece of feedback, but I just I don't have any updates on it. The uh, chat filter came up more than once. Um, there was a the, the chat filter was a, a little bit, let's say, uh, unfinished. Yeah, it was broken. <laughs> it was, yeah, some, something is broken. Um, yeah, we definitely need to like the game is rated M, so we have to figure out what level of. Obviously, you don't want to ever kind of create an environment, especially as a person, you know, running a game where it's just like, all right, free for all, no filter, it can just be <laughs> for for a lot of reasons. Like, but it is a mature game, so we we want to be able to reflect that at some point. But yeah, it was very broken, especially different different language characters and stuff were being filtered and breaking things. And yeah, oh. we're we're looking into fixing that for sure <laughs> I, I actually i actually played one pvp match during this close beta unfortunately for me and during that pvp match like half the sentences were just uh were just uh starred up even even like at the beginning when someone was trying to create a tactic let's go to star 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 and kill the star 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 i didn't understand anything <laughs> where are we going what are we doing <laughs> it's broken <laughs> yeah it's uh it's broken <laughs> that's why that's that's why that's why you need um uh, uh, that's why you need the voice hey by the way is that is that voice thing the, the voice chat also working in pvp um i haven't actually like used it or tested it at all i think it should be i know it was updated a lot recently but i'm actually not 100 percent sure lino i have not looked into that yeah voice 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 chat in pvp uh, I actually tried to do voice chat with some of my guildies, but it wasn't quite working for me. So I'm not sure if that was, you know, a, a just general bug in the platform or but not. Uh, voice chat and PvP is definitely going to be very interesting. I think most people are not <laughs> going to use it, but there'll always be one person sitting there in voice chat waiting to either be a very helpful individual or be the PvP -er that uh, is a uh, we're more commonly experienced with, which is the one you try not to go to voice chat to deal with. So we'll see. I think it'll be a 50-50. It's, it's really good, I think. It gives people a lot of potential. I think it's a very good addition to the game because you can coordinate with, with players so much better via voice than you can just by the ping system. Uh, mm -hmm. so, so definitely something that I, that I very much like. I will be I will be sitting in voice chat for a little uh, and see, see what comes out of that. But hopefully the voice chat will have to work first because it didn't quite work for me. What do you guys think about uh, capital letters in the middle of your characters, Wilkie? Please let us have that. It's so frustrating that you literally just have one. Like you, we all have like what twelve, fourteen letters, so that already is a relatively like short name. And then you can't even like add underscores. Any like underscore isn't really a special character compared to like uh, a hashtag or something, but please let us just add capital letters. I mean, in New World, you can even have like blank spaces in the name. I'm not asking for blank spaces. Just let us have, please, capital letters inside the, and like, please, just, just uh, I don't know why there is the restriction for that because that seems more like a technical issue in the background. I don't think there is any other reason for that not to be allowed in the game. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure the background and either whether it's intentional or not but also definitely feedback i i agree with you i would like to have <laughs> more open names um, changing so definitely would like to like to get that loosened up a bit as well changing the, the chat filter cha oh. changing the changing the fonts to be more um more appealing like uh, something else than uh, what it is now that is the first time i've seen that one um, yeah, it is kind of a, it, it, it's kind of a funky font. <laughs> yeah, it's the first a... time I've seen that one, so I I can't say I've had it come up yet. But it's <laughs> when when are we going to see Nico? Is asking. Of course, I have to I have to take a question from Nico. By the way, shout out to Nico, really nice player. Um, um, when are we getting the uh, uh, pre-order outfits in their in-game version? Well, I can answer that for you, Nico. At launch. <laughs> <laughs> Not technically <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I, yeah, I should. Uh, um, um, I'm sorry. I'm just browsing through the chat. There's so many questions. I do apologize, by the way. No, no, no um, yeah. Also, um, y'all are pretty funny. I keep like laughing while people are talking, and it's not at you guys. Like chats, chats, pretty funny. Like I keep blinking, y'all. I have contacts in my eyes. My eyes yeah, dry out and glue open. 
So I guess. Hey, yeah, you can ask. We can ask any question and uh, <laughs> ask rocks to blink twice. <laughs> if yes, um, the Oceania server has uh, has uh, already been answered uh, for the, for the Australia and um, and uh, New Zealand. Uh, the IP there's a couple of IP um, lock questions as well. Um, I I think they or maybe rocks. You wanna give yeah, this one? Yeah, I mean. Off? It's unfortunate, but it's it's the same answer before. Like, luckily, we were able to open up to Oceania and Latin America, but legally, we just can't like publish or open up the game in regions that we don't have the rights to. Um, so that is kind of the reason for that. Um, we just can't do it. That's not how our deal works. Um, so you might know, like, Smilegate recently got like a Taiwan publisher um, to publish in those kind of regions are uh, not not Amazon. I don't know what the company is, um, but that's kind of the reason, right? We can't publish the game or make it available in places we don't have rights to because Smilegate still owns it and they have the right to look for other publishers in other areas, decide what they want to do. Um, in our case, you know, decide they did want to give us rights to Latam and Oceania, which was very nice, very, very good deal. It took a while. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, anywhere we don't have rights to, we just can't make it available because smile gates game so we don't want to yeah. step on their toes or break yeah. break that partnership because that's what's most important yeah um a, a couple more questions uh, not questions but just concerns um uh, about the font also uh from stoops also shout out to stoops my, uh, my boy a very nice person as well um I, i've heard i've heard i've, I've heard many people uh, saying that the font is it just doesn't it's not fitting with lost arcs let's say vibe, everything else is like so kind of like polished and the skill animations and the sounds and everything, the world, you look around you and it's all beautiful and somehow colorful and just vibrant. And then this font and also the tool tips, which were, we discussed the tool tips a little bit earlier. Um, um, but, but, but yeah, the font was also for me just a little bit, uh, just a little bit too, too times new Roman. Uh, if, uh, um, if, if I would have to... If, if I could bust in, would there be the possibility... I mean, I don't know if you can answer that, Rox, but um, if you were to relay that feedback, just try and see if there would be the option for us to manually set the font to anything we like. Uh, like, if they want to keep the base font as it is, then that's fine, but at least give us, like, an option or... I wouldn't say because sometimes it's it's difficult because it might be tinkering with the files, which obviously is against TOS, but I think yeah. it would be really grateful for us to just... Uh, if somebody likes the font, that's fine. If somebody wants to change the font, let let them have like a, you know, like an, a system function to like select, even if it's only like five different fonts, I think that would already alleviate the issue quite a bit. Yeah, from like a purely, so this is not like me <laughs> saying it's going to happen or anything. I think uh, having options are more realistic than like having people import their own font just for, you know, UI issues. Weirdly enough, like legal issues, because a lot of fonts are like copyrighted for certain ownership, um, stuff like that. So options would be more realistic. But that being said, I I have no idea if that's on the table or not. Like I said, this is kind of new feedback to me. I didn't see it a lot in the forums or anything. I think I said maybe one person commented on Discord and I'll pass it along now. Hey, this is my job, so thank you guys. Are you, are, <laughs> new, but, uh, new piece of feedback for me. To, by the way, are, are, are you job. happy? Are you happy, Rox, uh, with the uh, with the amount of feedback that you got? I I know the game director in Korea is always into feedback. Give it to me. Tell me. Write me, etc. Mm -hmm. Are you guys happy with the amount of feedback that you got? Or I think so. I mean. <laughs> I think I, I pulled numbers and there were several thousand threads. Um, so, you know, when it's a lot, it's hard to go through a lot. I just, there's definitely a lot of super engaged people, very happy. Um, you know what? I will call out, though. Um, most of the feedback was on beta, on uh, obviously on change. I'm like holding stuff. I talk with my hands. Uh, on the beta changes, on the technical side, on arm changes versus Russia, which is all great. That's all what we were looking for. But what I didn't see a lot of, which I'm curious for, and I know SGR is kind of curious about, is like, what did people think of just the game content? I know a lot of people probably in your stream and stuff have already played on other regions. This is not as new to them. But like, I'm definitely curious and we all kind of want to see more about just like, there was a lot of like, I really like this game. 
a new people, old people, whatever. I really like it. It's really fun. Like, cool. Like, what did you like about it? Like, what's your favorite part? Uh, what did you think of the content? What's your favorite piece of the content? Um, definitely, like, obviously the game's already out, so that might not always, like, lead to an immediate change in one of those things. But moving forward, Smilegate will create more content. That content will end up in our game. It's helpful for us to know just, like, what what players like about that stuff. Um, and I'm sure we'll get a lot more of that on launch, too. But, like, yeah, definitely definitely let us know. And Our forms are still open and stuff, too. Like, I can read it here. It's just easier for me to track in, in more permanent places. But, uh, yeah. yeah, let us and know what your favorite parts were. Easier for other people also. Very important, guys, by the way. Really, really important. I'm not even joking. Um, in, in, in Korea, for example, the game director is very interested in getting feedback from the players. He doesn't really like the fact that the players in Russia don't really give feedback. So it's very appreciated and very important because you can literally, if there's, if there's enough concerns about something, you can literally change um, the Western version. And I'm not even talking like out of my ass or anything. It has happened so many times with Lost Ark when when they have had enough of a player base commenting on something or raising a problem or an issue um, that they've actually changed the way it looks. And the Western version already looks a little bit Western, uh, made for us a little bit compared to any other region. So because of that, I, I really have high hopes in this. Someone else was asking if uh, North America East and West, this is actually a, a good question, if North America East and West will actually be able to play together as opposed to being two separate entities. Uh, in Korea, for example, the all of Korea plays let's say can queue up together for PvP, for PvE content. Um, I haven't had two separate characters on West and East to know if they can or cannot queue together, but someone was implying um, that uh, that they actually cannot. Is there any are there any plans to uh, maybe not allow Europe to queue up with NA but just maybe at least all of NA together? I don't want to answer that because I actually feel like I need to check up on that and I'm mm -hmm. not sure. There is a, right. there's a lot of stuff in this game and it's like yeah, I definitely don't know. Yeah. Everything well, off the top of my head, but uh, We take it we take I'm it as we take that. it as a piece of feedback because even for <laughs> yeah. even for me, yeah, even for me um, I'm not playing on the uh, North American servers, but it would be really cool to leave um, uh, all of North America to play together same as it is um, let's say in every other region, which is really cool and makes it for a, a bigger community to organize stuff better. And uh, and so even if they have different login servers for East and West, um, maybe just, um, um, uh, yeah, play like that. How was any, any feedback from PvP, Lino, by the way? This uh, I, haven't, I haven't really heard and seen in chat. I mean, the the PvP feedback to me when it comes to the beta, it would just be, you know, like, let's hope that the bugs are fixed and, and the bugs did get fixed. Uh, even the hotfix introduced some some weird new bugs like Devil Hunter. Well, what do you call it? Dead Eye not being able to you know weapon swap etc. But that got fixed in the end as well. So uh, I guess the only feedback that I would give when it comes to to PvP and that I think the community would give is hopefully put us at the latest patch possible. So one of the things that we saw is uh, some of the pets. You still have Maridine being the the big coral golem, and he's changed to like cute teddy bear when you go into all the other regions. Or Paoru being the little fire oh. imp, which then becomes. Oh, th a... this is this is so nice. By the way, by the way, if anyone is watching who decided to give the summoner the original pet, thank you so much. <laughs> Just wanted to say, uh, amazing. But, so, yeah. uh, so in terms of PvP, there was no nothing that you've actually heard or seen yourself. Um, s some some feedback, more of this, less of that. Oh well, there's this general feedback as to how we think, you know, the the matter should change, or different feedback on how we think, right. you know, how can uh, Korea change classes to make certain classes that are underrepresented be stronger, and classes that are overrepresented a little bit less obnoxious to fight. But when you start talking about PvP balance, you start getting into very subjective opinions, myself included. Uh, and at the end of the, I think the thing that most people in the PvP community are thinking about is there is meant to be this big tournament at the end of the year. In Korea, which is a Royal Roaders tournament, uh, and that's you know the big official one organized by Smilegate, and they themselves have acknowledged in patch notes that you know their PVP balance is something that could use a little bit of work, and they've they've promised that they would be doing frequent PVP balance patches, which they hadn't necessarily delivered, and they said you know we are going to deliver this, we're going to be having this tournament, and we're going to be doing things. So there's been definitely word from Smilegate that things are going to be happening, 
Uh, and I think all that the PvP one, uh, community wants to see now is what is going to happen. So you guys, you guys can can say it, but can you actually do it? And I guess it's just waiting and see what direction they're going to be taking the game's PvP with as we come to the end of the year and we we see what happens with that tournament. Mm -hmm. Questions about the the region lock or if 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 South Africa can play without a VPN? We just discussed this, so if you just rewind, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes in the past. Uh, you will have the answer for that. Someone in chat was saying, uh, by the way, Lino, um, uh, some, something good for the future of the game. Maybe it's too early actually to give it, but um, uh, a separate queue for pre-made ranked. Oh, yeah, I'd love that. I've said that in the previous podcast as well. Right. You know, as, as a okay. person who played Battle Rye previously, and I love that game, and I love the way that they did the queuing system. It's uh, I would. This is like a personal piece of feedback that I would give. Please, please, if you can, you know, allow for, for ranked matchmaking with your friends as well, not just solo. Uh, so uh, did I have, uh, did did I miss anything, Wilkie? In your opinion, some some something that was that happened and didn't happen. Mm, I don't necessarily think that there was a, such a huge uh, change to be done to the original PvP system. I think there was some like minor tweaks, and I think the the biggest takeaway is definitely I'm, I'm with Leno. They should immediately bring the PvP balance in, which I believe is not going to be happening because I assume, this is just an assumption on my part though, that the balance is also tied with the PvE balance, so they're not balancing PvP and doing a patch, and then they're balancing PvE and doing a patch. So I think we're probably not going to get all of the PvP patches, unfortunately, because I think they're going to be tied in with PvE, and I have the feeling that we're unfortunately not going to get the most recent versions of the classes. However, I would really love to be able to play what we see currently done or testing in Korea. Because uh, I can, like, I play a lot of Deadeye, for those of you who don't know, and Deadeye currently in the beta client was, I think, four or five patches behind Russia, and that's like six or seven patches behind Korea. That's pretty far away, so I do hope that they might accelerate that a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, someone was someone was asking w w w in a donation, by the way. Thank you so much. I generally don't like to just stop the podcast to talk about donations, but thank you so much if, uh, for those of you who already donated. I appreciate it. Uh, but someone was asking if uh, the, the lower level content can be, let's say, um, um, changed in a way to include more of the mechanics that you find at end game. I don't think that's going to happen, nor that that is a priority, let's say, to um let's say tackle the yeah i mean it's definitely highly unlikely that a lot you know a lot of the content in there um from that content perspective will be changed or altered that's you know it's kind of set up locked in um but like i said like that's that's still helpful feedback that you like that or you want to see more to that because the game's not finished the game's still being made so when we hear that and we can pass it on a smile gate um I know I know you specifically called that called out early stuff. Obviously not every piece of feedback is going to be implemented ever, but it's something we can share with them. Um like hey, players like this, maybe we want to do more of this kind of stuff and where wherever makes sense, you know. Um so it's still very helpful for us to hear. Uh is it um is is there a chance that we would get the dying <clears throat> system from the get go was this raised before or I don't actually know. I so I have not played on other servers, so I'm don't actually think I'm familiar with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so it's not confirmed yet. Dying system. When another question like this? Uh, buff in fighter. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> if if you're browsing, so I, I would like to to pick up that question from Zcast form. He was asking about the gold boost or catch up mechanic. I don't know if you're familiar with the with the system rock, so I don't really know if we should address this now. Uh, Korean server got a system where you could boost your characters for in-game gold. So instead of like paying real money to get a boost, you could also use your gold, which is obviously a catch-up mechanic. But it, or do you happen to know if there are plans to get this, or if we even get this? Because compared to the Russian server, where they pretty much said we're never going to get this because they are afraid of abuse is like happening with that system. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure if it's been raised or whatever. I don't think it's gonna come at launch. I don't think it's being planned at all. Um for launch, I don't I don't know. I don't wanna ever say never, not never, because these things are very fluid. So I'm not sure if it will at some point, but definitely not something we've kind of looked into for launch. Mm-hmm. 
um, more more VPN questions. Uh, well, <laughs> rocks rocks cannot answer <laughs> a question if you're gonna get banned if you use VPN. <laughs> this is like a, don't tell me. Just... <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> completely up to you, of course. I can tell you because I'm free to tell. Um, um, you 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 always use VPN at your own risk. Steam is not gonna ban you for using VPN. But obviously, if a game is not, let's say, allowed in your country, there is always a chance that you're going to get sacked. Now, I would take that chance. I took that chance for three years and I did get sacked on several accounts. Um, but, but that's how it is. And they cannot tell you that, hey, you know, yeah, sure, just, uh, you know, just uh, uh, use a VPN and um, um, info on uh, location of the Latin American server. So we can have an idea of the milliseconds that people from South America will play with, the location of the South American server. Um, I actually do not know. I don't think those servers have been stood up yet or are in progress. So I don't have an update on that. Obviously, they weren't <laughs> in place yet for the beta. They will be for launch. Um, I'm mm -hmm. just not sure where our data centers are mm -hmm. or which one we're going to use. Right. Um, Lino, did you catch any any other interesting questions that we can use? Because my chat is scrolled all the way up. <laughs> <I'm still scrolling laughs> reading. Well, chat's going very fast. Lots of questions going in. <laughs> I, I think uh, one of the questions we're already getting is, you know, whether the, the level booster, not just the gold one, but the regular paid one, would be available at launch. You know, I I doubt it. Rocks. I think. Yeah, that's about. something we're still. Uh trying to figure out again that balance yeah you don't want to necessarily throw everyone to end game and um, but just figuring out the best time to do that um we have people <laughs> we have people that are very good at determining those things and like work on those things specifically so i know it was a topic of discussion and i don't think it's been fully fully decided yet but yeah definitely something we're aware of that like okay maybe we don't want this right away so we shall see People were asking for uh, for modding support. Maybe they want to create their own, uh, I don't know, DPS meters. Um, any feedback that, that you guys at Amazon have? I don't, I don't think that's on the table, unfortunately. Um, mm -hmm. Just not something that we're kind of. Uh, what about the about. what about the numbers on like a, like an interesting statistics on what classes were played the most during the closed beta? Like we're actually. Fun. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to happen. We we did pitch that and we're trying to get some info, but our like our our team that works on that is also like super like wait, we're digging into closed beta feedback, so they're super tied up. Um so we're trying to see what information we can pull without like getting in that team's way. So we we do want to be able to share that. We had some fun stats we came up with, but uh don't don't want to bog that team down either. So we're seeing if that's something we'll be able to share. Right. Tell me, ask me a question, Wilkie. <laughs> ask you a question. I'm just going to pick up from, from chat because there, there's a lot of question. Um, API or third party tool uh, support. And the, mo the key feature here is really API. If there is or if there are possibilities for coders, website creators, any tool creators out there. I don't know if you are aware of the tool Binark Rocks. If you ever use that, if you ever stumbled upon that, maybe Savo could bring that up just very briefly, like 10 seconds. It's basically a tool to schedule your content around, and it hooks into the green server displaying island events, Marie's shop, and pretty much everything, or a lot of the things you see in-game on the website. And a lot of people have been asking me, and particularly other people, if that is a possibility if there are plans or if that may already if there may already are some things in place for that yeah and again <laughs> i feel like there's a lot of things i don't know again um but i know we don't have mod support i'm not 100 percent sure where the api lands i don't know that that's something we're like actively trying to make available um there are a couple things i know we've talked about wanting to have more community tools and stuff that people can use but i'm not sure where those conversations are at right now. Mm -hmm. As as you can see, there's a lot for us to continue to do yeah, before yeah. launch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That there's been a lot of feedback, and it's actually absolutely no problem that um, uh, that not everything has been, uh, let's say, discussed. Especially uh, maybe with you. I'm pretty sure there are other teams who actually look at the feedback. You personally are not the only one who just copy pastes forum threads to. Oh yeah, um, everybody's left and right. So everybody's yeah, in there. Um, uh, some things are going to be actually done before release. Some things are going to be done after release when they get more time to do 
to look into this and that. Summoner pets, will there be old ones or new ones? The, the old ones, thank God. I'm really sorry to the, for those of you who want the new pets. I don't personally, I'm happy. Um, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it seems to be that, uh, that uh, the, uh, the old pets. Any other feedback, something interesting that maybe we haven't touched upon? Uh, during this uh, during this podcast so far, that maybe Amazon Games has uh, uh, you know looking looking to work on um, something that you guys got and is didn't touch upon. is there planned or maybe already? I mean, we have the content creator program, but it, is there something specifically for design or fashionista people? As in, Korea has the community costume competitions going on where people design stuff. Is there? Like, does that fall under the content creator program, which I don't think it does really, but are there like plans for that? Is there maybe even already like a place where people could submit their own skins for the game? Um, I, I wouldn't say it falls under your content creator. That's probably something we'll have to talk about Smilegate with since, again, they're kind of the ones that would like implement all that stuff. Um, but I, as a human being that likes Lost Ark, would love to see that. I think that's super cool. Um, but yeah, definitely something we'll have to you know, discuss more with Smilegate if we are able to support that because, you know, functionally, they're still the ones that are coding and designing and bringing things, bringing different elements into the game. Mm -hmm. well, what's what's for Amazon, for example, what's what's the next step now? Gathering the feedback? And oh, I spent a lot of time doing that over the last few weeks. <laughs> yeah, um, definitely. We've gotten quite a few reports. Um, some of those reports are being finalized. Some of them are final. Um, and the next step really is just to kind of look things over, um, discuss, okay, what can we act on? What do we want to act on? Um, discuss things with Smilegate, um, which some of those conversations have already started just because we work very closely. Um, and start making those changes and rolling out those builds and see what comes next. And we're, we're still moving towards release. So it's definitely a balance of, okay, making sure games launch ready, making sure the last like polish is in and making sure we implement feedback we can, that makes sense to implement. So uh, almost like back to, back to just analyzing everything we've got. I think we've done a lot of the collecting, but now it's analysis and implementation but mm -hmm. yeah a, a lot of these things take time too and yeah there was a lot of feedback we got and i know people are curious like oh what's what's going to happen with that feedback what's next and it's like well i don't know we're reading it we're looking into it um but you know we don't make those decisions lightly or overnight so it's we got to figure out and work with those proper teams to figure out how we address that mm -hmm. uh someone is asking uh, lino as a PvP player, this is not beta feedback, but just a question. As a PvP player, why should you play PvE? Uh, well, it depends. If you if you want to just be a pure PvP player, you don't even need to touch PvE. You get level 26. There's a little bit of a thing where you need a, a few silvers or shillings to buy Awakening Stones that you used to be able to use uh, your like your ultimate skill. But these are relatively cheap, and you know, just even regular events or a few dungeons will give you enough to get those. So once you get to level 26, you can just do PvP if you'd like. You don't actually have to touch PvE. You can treat this as a PvE only game if you'd like. It's a PvP only game if you'd like. So you don't have to. I love the mm -hmm. PvE in this game and I love the PvP, so I'll do both. But if you just want a PvP, then you're welcome to do that too. How important is PvP compared to PvE? Well, <laughs> that's uh, that's that's a, a full fun question, right? To me, PvP is very important because it's it's fun, right? I love PvP. So to me, I think PvP is more important than PvE because it's what I like doing. Um, if you're asking this regarding whether or not PvP is important for you to get mats to progress in your PvE progression, then PvP does have some rewards. It has some nice mounts. It has some uh, trinkets that you can get. It has like an aura that you can buy as well. It does offer some slight support to your PvE progression with mats that are weakly gated. Uh, so you can get a little bit of PvE progression and rewards by doing PvP, but it's nothing all that significant. So if you want to just PvE, you can just PvE. If you want to just PvP, you can just PvP. And if you want to do both, do both. What about uh, what about guild PvP that uh, unlocks at level 50? Oh, yeah. So uh, guild PvP, yeah, it is something that gear does actually factor in. So you, if you want to do guild PvP, you will actually need to do a little bit of PvE because that's where uh, there is normalized and equalized PvP in the arena, in the Colosseum. And then there is actual gear-based PvP uh, PvP uh, with some of the uh, the, gear, the guild battles or such, certain island PvP events. Although I haven't done uh, many many guild battles since I'm just a uh, fucking uh, Coliseum Andy. So 
<laughs> Coliseum Andy. A question for Wilkie. Any ideas how exclusive these Platinum supporter avatars are? I'm actually wondering this too. Um, whether they will be re-available later in the actual cash shop. Because in Korea, you know, they're tradable. So you can make some nice money if you gather some a couple of them. Good question. I don't think I'm qualified to answer this. I would. Uh, I think that may be uh, directed better at rocks, but I'll take my shot here. I think. I think they will be available at a later point in time. Maybe for anniversary reasons or like specific events. I don't think it's going to be locked out completely. But who knows? Maybe Amazon really wants the founders to stand out and be like, look, you guys had your chances for almost a year. If you didn't buy in now, then uh, tough luck. But yeah, right now opinion. what I know is the only way to get them is through the founders packs. Um, that is how it is at the moment. I'm like, I have been in community for so long. I will never like, I just said it. The only thing I will ever, time I will ever say never is when I'm saying I will never say the word never. <laughs> I have I have been doing it long enough for to never give like a hundred percent on one thing, but for now, yeah, all the uh, all the the platinum founders avatars, the way to get them is the founders pack, and that's all that's planned. Mm -hmm. uh, someone is asking uh, like uh, um, a question about the the gender lock, and I actually wanted to take just a couple of minutes uh, from the show to actually show you. <laughs> show from to show you. Uh, so, so I can actually show you an article that I found. I will uh, swap really quickly to my to my screen here. I, I wanted I wanted to show um, this particular article, which is um, um, from a website called Massively Op, and the title is um, "Lost Ark is a promising MMORPG with a poor first impression." Now, this part of the title right here, "poor first impression," has to do with the question that I was talking about. Um, when, sorry, my bad, I apologize. Uh, the question that I was talking about uh, uh, regarding the gender lock. So uh, uh, if you scroll a little bit down here, um, there is a passage that I would like to read to you regarding this gender lock. So it says, when Lost Ark's release was delayed to 2022, I had hoped it would be an opportunity to fix some of the game's actual problems, like gender-locked classes. But at least so far, that doesn't seem to be the case. It is possible that sort of thing is still coming before the Western launch, especially considering that gender lock, uh, that gender lock are already being removed in other regions. But the fact that this unasked for new tutorial, so also a problem with the new tutorial, was given priority, raises some doubts about the decision making at Helm. Now, this statement right here, this is this is just not not not, not true, now, unfortunately, for a lack of a better word, uh, term. So, um, Smilegate, together with Amazon, purposely um, wanted to include the Gunslinger and also the Striker, which are the only two classes that have... Um, the opposite gender, just so that they can show the Western players that this is a process that's ongoing and available. Now, the the the, the thing that someone from a respectable, uh, let's say, um, a website, I believe, uh, says that in other regions they have been removed and not for us, and they given more priority to the tutorial. This for me is a little bit, um, uh, uh, let's say, baffling to say the least. Um, and and I just wanted to make sure that that people understand that gender lock is a thing for our Western release. It, it has happened from the get-go, from the very beginning, which is impressive. Um, I, I'm just surprised that it was missed uh, in that case. So to answer your question, yes, there is a, a gender lock process ongoing and it is slow, obviously, because of, of all sorts of considerations such as new content that they, they wanted to push out or to keep the end game also viable and balanced and everything else that stands in between. But it is something that, that is actually happening. However, for the most part, I do get it. And I'm going to give this to you, of course. Um, Lost Ark is a, a gender-locked game, if you want to call it like that. But there are st steps being done as opposed to, um, you know, getting it completely the wrong way that we didn't get it and some other regions did. It's actually <laughs> the opposite, if, uh, if, if anything, yeah. So that's to answer the service. Um, um, so we talked, uh, just to make a quick recap, by the way, for those of you who have uh, joined us recently, nice to have you, by the way. Very thankful um, that you came here to, to watch us. Uh, 
we talked about the the IP block. We talked about the um, um, Oceania servers. We talked about NA servers. We talked about the booba and the censorship stuff with the NPCs and the costumes. We had um, uh, opinions on this and a lot of other things so far. Uh, so if you, uh, I'm sorry to ask you, but if you rewatch this video, then you will be, you will be, you blah, blah, blah. you will be able to find the answers for uh, for for most of the most of the things. I missed out on a lot of questions, so I'm just hoping that someone else didn't. I I'm having actually no put up. First of all, you have cyberception going on, as one of the viewers said. I, I think you you screwed your scenes or something. Your webcam is still in the bottom corner of you. <laughs> Double cyber. <laughs> <laughs> so you can fix that. I don't know. Don't okay. worry. Um, this is something again directly to you, Rox, about how should I word this in the most uh, likable way? The guild system and the friend list is per character. Mm. Um, are there plans maybe to kind of change this to an account-wide list slash guild kind of system? If not. Please, 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 uh, in the name of all the community members that run guilds that are parts <laughs> of eight guilds or six guilds or whatever, uh, if if there would be the slightest chance for, for Smilegate maybe to look into that and maybe make it like an account-wide guild or like just enter with your account instead of your character. It was definitely in my feedback report. So I can 100% tell you that it has been noted and shared. Um, but again you know, what the next steps are, are not like locked in or anything. Um, but yep, it was, it's funny. I almost wish I almost have a list, but it's like a lot of the things that are being brought up, like, yep, noted feedback. I know it's like, sometimes seems like, okay, we got your feedback. Well, what does that mean? Where does it go? It is, it is in the report. It has been delivered to Smilegate. It will be talked about. So I don't know what the next steps will be, if any yet, but it is there. <laughs> okay, I just want to just want to add one more thing uh, since that kind of falls into the same category. Uh, gamer tags slash account names is that maybe a thing? Um, that's something I haven't seen quite as much of. Um, I think would have to. So the way our login in the West works through is through Steam. Um, so we'd have to probably tie those integrations, and I'm not sure how it plays with the like the build of the client. Um, since it's you know not run through Steam and other parts, um, so that might be something that could be a little bit tricky. But uh, feedback. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Another question that I'm seeing here that maybe I want to raise is: uh, Do we have much information on the the price of royal crystals? What exactly their value is? Down to I do not yet. Um, that was part of like our our testing. So that was the first time I think I mentioned earlier. That was the first time even I've seen and gotten to use the shop. Um, that was the first time the shop has kind of been available. Obviously, some things were still broken, um, but at least in our build. So I know ex like that that team, uh, Monetization BI, was collecting data on that. And I'm sure we'll have an update on that once they kind of settle. But a lot of the things, um, and I think I, we mentioned in our pre-beta, kind of like, here's what we're looking for, um, was kind of shop behavior and stuff so that people can can make those decisions. So I think that's something else that we've gotten a lot of learnings from, from beta. And then, you know, once that's locked in, uh, we'll be able to share. Any, any uh, uh, Ben was asking if there's any plans to increase the guild size uh, because 30 people is too few. This is, I believe, uh, good good feedback, um, but I'm, I'm not sure. It, it's been like this since forever. And I believe uh, since forever, people have, talked about it and there has to be a reason why this hasn't been done yet for three years uh, and so much other things have been done i'm not sure i don't know the reason i'm not a guild leader but i know that there were many people uh, who wanted to to have this but um yeah i guess uh, also yeah, th those of you who are asking about the ip block yes there's going to be an ip block um, upon release even though beta wasn't um, it was the same as the technical alpha um, but yeah, I do. I, I still have hopes, by the way, um, for the countries that are still uh, locked behind this this uh, region lock. This is not nothing official. I, I, I don't work with Amazon. I don't want to ask Rox because she doesn't have these answers either. Um, but I still have hope. I do still have hope that maybe, who knows, six months into release, a year into release, something will be done. But at release, officially speaking, as far as we heard from Rox so far and also from the from the forums, um, uh, yeah, there will still be some IP uh, block in place. Um, 
Yeah, we talked about the CPU uh, uh, issues. Um, any chance of getting a standalone client? Uh, I believe. I don't think so. Yeah, I it's believe not, all of them. I don't think it's happening. Yeah. I believe all of them run through a launcher, whether it's the uh, 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 my.games launcher or the stove launcher or the Steam launcher. Uh, in our case, um, in even in Japan, it runs through a through a launcher. Do you see any other questions, um, uh, Wilkie Lino? I think one that has been very frequently raised, I think that is mostly in conjunction to with what uh, exactly what Rotat is saying, what happens in New World uh, report function. Is it going to be in the game? And if so, how are you guys planning to keep it in check? I'll just bring up one quick example here. In New World, people abuse that system to mass report guild leaders or shot callers before wars so they would get auto banned by the system <laughs> and they would have like a 24 hour ban and they couldn't lead their guilds or shot call for the teams and wars so that was definitely an abusable part um like are we going to get the system if so are there plans to like kind of avoid this or will there not be an auto ban per se that is you know? rough um i don't think we have auto banning in play oh god don't quote me on that <laughs> i have to check in with our cs team um i know we had cs support folks kind of training on for beta at that time and it was mostly online um but i would definitely that's something yeah we we don't want to run in I'm, I'm very separate from new world so kind of unaware of what's happening over there but um yeah that is not ideal obviously um and that is something we're definitely gonna not, not want to run into in lost ark um i'm not sure like i'd have to talk to you know our customer support lead and see what his plans are um and how he's going to operate with that team um but it's definitely something that i think we could learn from if we end up in one of those positions and would like to address so i don't know exactly what that team's like tr tries and tactics are going to be out the gate just because that's not really my department um but yeah definitely definitely something that we'll be aware of and we'll watch out and yeah mass banning is not ideal all sorts of things like that auto banning um mm -hmm. like for mass bans is not ideal yeah so definitely something to keep an eye out and is will be on my radar as well someone was saying that also this uh, we talked about the, the the censorship and the filtering the the chat filtering also uh, apparently, it's affecting guild names as well. I'm not sure what, what guild names uh, or what words are affected, but this is something that we actually talked about. Um, and it is, it is actually, um, it is actually uh, looked into. Uh, uh, cool. There's, there's, like a, there's like a lot of questions, very many of them that we, uh, that we actually uh, answered or at least uh, touched upon. Um, regional prices. Uh, in Turkish, Platinum Edition costs half of minimum wage. Um, I'm not sure if... Um, I, I am aware that these prices were, let's say, increased at one point after everyone was getting a Turkish account. Um, <laughs> but I'm not sure what's, what's going to happen now, if they're going to be decreased or not. Uh, who knows? M maybe after release, when there's no more Founders Packs, that could, let's say, potentially... Um, cause some sort of uh, some sort of uh, uh, an unwanted drama in that sense uh, with all due respect of course for for, for, for um, um, Turkish people and other people from poor countries myself also included same same minimum wage um, uh, where I come from as in Turkey so uh, yeah it sucks mm. when can we expect a content roadmap um, closer to launch or around launch is something we're working on getting into um got to get the, the game out the door but we i we do want to share one um do but it'll we, just come in the future do we expect a, a um a release date announcement before the content roadmap yeah we do i guess I yeah guess. yeah i, just... <laughs> <laughs> I would will say there so. be will there be more ways to change keybinds no um, Destroyer, Landsmaster, Arcana, <laughs> later. Um, what, 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 what do you guys do? Do you miss? Do you miss Arcana, Lino? I know it's your main, or at least it was. I'm not sure. Yes, now with the yes, I very, I very much miss her. Every time that I have to log in, I see my Arcana, and then I realize that she doesn't exist. 
Well, will not exist. In fact, she doesn't exist because one thing that Amazon did do, and this is a question actually that I will ask, is a lot of the we have a lot of new face options. In fact, when you're a new character creator, however, this also means that some of the older face options that are available in other clients got deleted. My Arcana's face got deleted, so I was wondering, and you know, for chat as well. So now, any... now, now, now it's confirmed that Lino actually zooms in and he's with the booba. Yeah, right, okay. I do. Yeah, <laughs> of course. But the face, the face guy. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that was that was also something noted that we've passed on. Um, again, feedback coming out of beta, so I don't know what the outcome will be, but that would be that was passed on that faces were removed that people wanted to see as well. So team knows. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Uh, there's a lot like you know. Uh, listen, the, the thing is that there's a lot of a lot of things that let's say could be changed in the future or people would like in the West to have. There's a lot of, now with so much exposure for the game, there is, there's so many new ideas and many of them are like so cool ideas, right? Um, and it's not excluded that, you know, in years to come, uh, some of these things will actually be taken, let's say, uh, seriously by the devs in Korea and maybe the version that we're playing would be changed to have them. I know that some of you, for example, were asking for uh, for like unique hairstyles and face customization in game, let's say for real money. This is something that, for example, Guild Wars 2 and many other MMORPGs do. Um, so th th there's so many cool ideas that this that our game can can take advantage of. But I believe that from now until launch, let's face it, it's the 13th of November. At, at at the very best, let's say, if the release date is 31st of, of March, um, they have four and a half months. Now, I know that might seem like a long time, but, you know, after you gather all this feedback, after you finish the translation, after you fix the tooltips, and some of it is also done, of course, uh, maybe even most of it, I don't know, done by Smilegate in terms of raw, uh, let's say, work on, on, on the builds and on the balance and on the uh, how many mats we get and so on. Um, all I want is, at the end of the day, I think all that all of us want is um, for, for our Western launch to make as many people happy as possible. I know for sure that's what the game director wants, for you to play in order to be happy. Um, so I believe some of, of, uh, of the feedback will actually be taken into consideration and the obvious stuff like performance issues, translations, how fast you gear up, at least these, uh, let's say, three things would... Uh, obviously be fixed before release we don't know when release is we we can only assume how much uh how many times the rocks is blinking um, <laughs> so, so, um but yeah I, I, all i all i personally want is for just people to be happy playing the game and i'm pretty sure that even if a little bit more booba comes uh, with a with a future patch in uh, after the game release, or maybe a little bit more guild size, or maybe a little bit more um, I, I, I don't know what what so so much good feedback by the way from you guys that are watching also. If some of these things come a bit later, I I I still think people will be will be happy. Yeah, I I definitely want to second that too because it's <laughs> however however long it is like it it goes by so fast when you're in there working on it every day so early 2022 20, or i have not slept yeah. enough in the last few weeks early 2022 is gonna be here before you know it even faster for us um but it's it's that balance right like we want to take that feedback we want to implement that feedback um but we yeah we don't want to delay the game again good lord please don't put me through that again <laughs> uh, that was a, was a rough day um, you don't want to <laughs> you don't want to delay the game again. We don't want to delay the game again. We want to deliver on that early 2022. Um, so yeah, we in the, this game is going to be a live service game. You know, we're not shipping it and it's done. Like we're gonna keep updating. We're gonna keep working with Smilegate. You know, whether that's content, whether that's tweaks, whether that's polish, we're always gonna keep polishing. Um, but it's a balance between getting it in a in a state that's polished and presentable and like ready for the world, um, taking in mu as much of that feedback as we can, but like doing it in a way, you know, to, to get to that place where we need to be without taking all the time in the world. So definitely, definitely going to keep working on it in the future, like always taking feedback for the future. Um, 
and yeah, we want it to last a very long time. And I do too, because I like my job. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. So we all have some interest. Uh, what about this comment, Lino? Um, what yes. do you think for PVP? The queue was taking um, a long time, so I got a drink. This was yeah. Weird. So the way that this works is uh, you have a, a two stack system. So if you're queuing for PVP and you cancel the queue or you are not present to, as in like you get the queue pop and then you cancel after you get the queue pop, uh, it will give you one stack. If you get two stacks in total, then you are banned from doing PVP for 20 minutes. This is a system that's implemented to prevent griefing or queue dodging. So, you know, you can always just keep canceling queues and, and not getting into matches when uh, you feel you're going to be sniping somebody, for example. So I guess there may be a, a feedback that we can pass on to, to Amazon, but I don't think that is a system that would change since it's there specifically to prevent uh, people from kind of, of griefing, essentially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you would like to add, Lino? People were talking about these, uh, not Lino, sorry, Wilkie, I want to say. Uh, people were talking about the uh, level boosts being available from, from day one or the power passes. So this power pass was just available for the beta. I hope to dear God that it's not going to be available a power pass or any form of compensation. Here you got to 50 on one character, get another to 50 um, for release. Um, that wouldn't be nice, and I believe that uh, everyone here agrees. Or do you guys think that uh, let 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 let's have them for for, for sale uh, from day one? I d I don't think so. You're not that crazy, right? I mean, from a monetary perspective, they could do it, but I hope I really hope for the sake of Amazon's <laughs> reputation at this point that they don't introduce those at the launch. I'm totally with you there. The game is meant to be played, and at the start, the content is going to be limited depending on how you want to define the limit for yourself. But it's not out of the world to play more than a few characters. If you're really hardcore and you're playing those 18 characters or how many character slots we're going to get, well, then you got to spend the time to do that. And I'm fairly certain that the boosts will come at a later point in time, but they are much more sensible in a way that somebody who's new or just doesn't want to spend the time leveling again has an opportunity to still kind of flow with everybody else in the game. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, cool. Well, uh, I, I think I think I I, I think uh, I think we did good. I think we actually did good. I think we covered a lot of things that we uh, that we wanted to cover. Um, obviously, uh, future podcasts um, are to come with nice guests as always. Um, I, I don't want to keep her rocks for too long because if I keep her for too long, then she's going to be very tired. Today is Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday, then Monday at the office. Instead of fixing bugs, she's going to be uh, going out <laughs> buying coffees. Um, so uh, uh, I, I, think, uh, I think we did good during this podcast. I thank you guys, by the way, um, so much for, uh, for joining us. Very, very nice. I really appreciate you. Uh, appreciate your questions and, uh, and all, of the, all of the chats. Very nice. I do apologize for not getting probably uh, to many of the questions. Luckily, Lino and uh, Wilkie bailed me out a couple of times here. Uh, what what are we supposed to do until release rocks? Tell us. Um, sleep. Uh, I, I don't know. I panicked. <laughs> I was trying to think of good things. <laughs> Uh, Sleep. It, I yes. promise it will not be long. I'm in my brain. I'm like till launch like oh that's so close it feels very close for me there you <laughs> go looming confirmed early confirmed. 2022 um confirmed. But, uh, yeah, yeah see whatever you want. play on learn all the things create all the content tell me all the feedbacks um <laughs> sleep i need more sleep yeah i definitely no i i do not mind being here but yeah i i actually really appreciate that you invited me but yeah, it was some some long nights over the last few weeks, but beta went super well. So thank you for everyone who like participated and left that feedback. Um, and dare I say, overall, you know, with one hotfix and one emergency maintenance right after, like I felt like it was really smooth and it was just a really good experience um, for our team, like all of our teams, and to work with Smilegate and work through these things. And I'm I'm just feeling really good. So I'm I'm very excited to a. Uh, to get everyone back in the game and have it be live. It's going to be so different from like, yeah. Th thank you, by now. the way. Um, I, I guess this comment sums it up um, how I feel also. <laughs> thank you so much for actually taking the time 
uh, to be here um, with me and with the rest of the people who are watching. Very nice for people, I believe, to see your face. If I would be, for example, a player in a game, I would really like to see the community manager's face and to, to see like her or him talking. It's it's really cool to just see. I love when, when the game director in Korea, for example, gets to talk about the game, even though I don't understand anything, just, you know, <laughs> just, to, just to look at him. It's super cool to see someone, you, you know, that you depend on, let's say, to have a good relationship with them. So thank you very much. Uh, I also thank you to, uh, uh, as always, to, to, to Lino and uh, Wilkie for being here. Very grateful. You can find, by the way, um, sh should people find you also, um, uh, Rax, on, on, on Twitch? Or uh, is that not necessary? That's fine. I'm on the internet. My my so my Twitter is basically a Lost Ark account <laughs> at this point. Um, there you go. That's fine. It's, <laughs> you it's can, you can find... Yeah, you can find you can find rocks uh, on the official Lost Ark Twitter. Uh, that's that's her own personal agenda now. Oh God, um, no! I I do I do not wait. I do not run the Twitter. People think I do. I do not. <laughs> Please no. That's someone else. But uh, right. my my Twitter account, I think my handle is. Uh, yeah. I I don't know. I don't want to spell it. Uh, if you find me on the internet, a cybo tag me and something. But I basically just talk about Lost Ark now or at least they have during beta and i also make really bad jokes so i'm, I'm sorry. i will i will make i will place it in the chat there you go dox you um <laughs> sorry and you you can you can find the uh, you, you can no find idea. lino uh lino and um and wilkie uh they're both uh, creating youtube videos fantastic youtube videos by the way and they're both um, also streaming, so it's it, it's really nice to get an opportunity to learn more. Um, for example, Lino talks a lot about PvP content. Wilkie talks a lot about you know guides and general game content. Very very nice. Definitely recommend. Their their links are actually in the description below. And I I promise I promise I will I will add uh, I will add um, rocks also in the chat. Here you go. Actually, I'm... though, mentioning them, I want to change my answer for what you should be doing while you wait for lunch. And it's ah. watch every what it's watch everybody's videos. Um, I mean, I even still have a lot. This game has been out for a very long time. There's a massive amount of content, and you know, all these guys here have put in massive amounts of hours <laughs> into this game. Um, yeah, making those videos, teaching you everything you need to know. That if if you're really excited for Lost Ark and just waiting for it to launch, that's what you should do is start learning now. So once it comes out, you're you're prepared, you're ready to go. You're uh, at the top of your game. So definitely, definitely. Yeah, do that. I, I, I I really appreciate it. Uh, I I appreciate you coming here um, uh, with us. Maybe in the future we can do uh, something else. In my in my next podcast, we're also going to have some lovely people. Um, I'm planning to do um, a, a podcast, by the way, where we uh, talk about other people's opinions about Lost Ark. Maybe people from other games that have played Lost Ark or tried it. Um, get them over and just just to share with you um, their, their opinions live. Uh, but until then, yeah, uh, watch people's videos. Advice from Rocks. You can play Lost Ark in Russia. You can play Lost Ark in Japan. Of course, we're not allowed to play there. Just saying, uh, as it is. Anything else you you like to say, guys, as as a as a closing thing? No, just uh, I guess hope everybody's looking forward to the release. I guess uh, just uh, maintain that hype, maintain that excitement, because uh, it's going to pay off even more when the game is out. So, what are you gonna do, Lino, until release? This is well, the real question. I think. <laughs> I mean, that's probably the the easiest answer I ever I can ever give. So I'm going to PvP. So I'm going to PvP a lot until release. There you go. That's, that's one example. <laughs> what are you going to be doing, uh, 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 Wilkie, until release? I will definitely also PvP, although I'm not a fully hard-on PvP or as Lin is, because I have, I wouldn't say responsibility in terms of PvE, but I think uh, most people remember me mostly for PvE guides, so definitely will be doing PvE content, but I'm probably going to actually focus more on PvP, especially knowing that the launch is coming soon tm really soon hopefully soon uh blink twice if it's january kappa but um <laughs> no jokes aside again. <laughs> she, she, she didn't so it's so it's december like i said in the initial. uh okay. jokes yeah. aside no seriously um I'm, I'm probably just gonna be playing the way i used to maybe with a bit more focus on pvp because that is the only thing that will 
truly carry over to the European server. And for those of you who are wondering, yes, I will be playing on the official European servers for Amazon, despite my investment on the Russian server. So don't worry, I'll be playing with you in Europe if you guys are there. Yeah, by the way, so sad, though. Um, someone was mentioning to me earlier that uh, after two years, um, maybe two years and a couple of months by now of playing on the Russian servers or even longer on the Korean server, but especially on the Russian server, people have made actually, f they, they've made friends with each other. And on the Russian server, you, you can imagine there's from Europe, there's from North America, there's from everywhere. So now we're getting split up. How sad is that, right? Because now we're all going to our own homes and people you got to, to like and appreciate, play with. Uh, they're just gonna go in a different region. No, yeah. sad. We're, we're, we're all we're, we're all one we're, big family. We're just gonna meet in your podcast in the future, and it's just gonna we're just gonna reminisce on uh, the Russian experiences. <laughs> we're just gonna look on the the good old times we had. But, time to uh, make time to make new friends. It's I, I will say it's very cool getting to work on a new game, but also one that has such like a dedicated like core community that's just been waiting oh yeah you guys <laughs> very patient to be waiting for so many years but it's it's a very unique experience i haven't i've worked on mmos in the past i've worked on all sorts of games but i've i've never been in a situation quite like this so it's very it's been a lot of fun and i really appreciate everyone's like kind of passion and stuff crazy we like back to the russian servers but back to these ones like it's just a very cool like unique thing to see ah everyone's uh games. everyone's uh everyone's so loving that's nice. <laughs> That's really nice. That's actually really nice. Well, let's end on that note, on a loving note, by the way. Um, yeah, thank you, everyone, again. Thank you, everyone, for watching, by the way. I really appreciate you. And, uh, yeah, we're, I guess we're, 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 we're each of us going to see you soon. Some of us on, uh, on the, the official Lost Ark Twitter. Some of us uh, streaming, YouTubing. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Again, I appreciate you. And I wish you a pleasant evening, day, morning, afternoon, wherever you're watching me from bed, uh, for example. Um, yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you for having us.